Hi, my name is Chidamso Ibe. I'm a graduate research assistant at the University of Minnesota, and this is a hands-on activity demonstration on analytical approaches for differentiating objects. I developed this activity along with Pete Raynor from the University of Minnesota and with the help of students from Dakota County Technical College, DCTC. Nanomaterials can be differentiated from other nanomaterials using disruptive and non-disruptive analytical methods. These methods utilize tools or equipment that distinguish between different properties of the materials, such as particle size, shape, surface composition, and so on, that is within a sample. The non-disruptive method evaluates properties of the material without causing damage to it. An example of an analytical equipment that uses non-disruptive techniques is the scanning electron microscope, SEM. This equipment produces images of the material during analysis. The destructive method, on the other hand, consumes the sample of material, preventing further analysis. An example of an analytical equipment that uses destructive techniques is a gas chromatography, GC, which consumes the sample by heat in the attached oven. This equipment does not produce images of the sample. For this activity, Instructors will provide learners with samples or sets of objects to be analyzed by several analytical tools. Set 1 contains objects in sealed transparent snack bags inside of opaque bags. Set 2 contains objects within a snack bag and set 3 contains objects in large grocery type bags. The analytical tools to be used for this activity are dimensional and surface compositional tools. The dimensional tools include rulers, calipers and a tape measure. The surface compositional tools include a UV flashlight or lamp. Learners are encouraged to work in groups of two to three people. Begin with a non-destructive test without imaging. Each group will receive one or more opaque bags containing set one objects. The opaque bags indicate that images are not generated during this analysis. Using only your sense of touch and the dimensional analysis tools at your disposal, Characterize the properties of set one objects in the opaque bag. Can you tell if the objects are different from each other by size, shape, smoothness, or roughness? Write down your observations. Conduct another non-destructive test, this time with imaging. To do so, open the opaque bags and remove the sealed snack bag. At this time, we can see that the objects are jelly bean candies. Without removing the objects from the sealed snack bag, Characterize the properties of set one objects in additional ways you were not able to do before. Can you tell if any of the objects are different from each other by color, size, or length? Continue analyzing set one objects, this time with destructive analytical methods. Remove the objects from the snack bag and analyze it in any way you choose. Remember that destructive tests cause damage to the sample so you may squeeze or puncture the objects by hand to verify your observations about the differences among the objects. Move on to set two objects to conduct a destructive test as well. Remove the sealed transparent snack bag from the opaque bag. Although the contents of each snack bag are similar, there are two types of objects present. Now, Remove the objects from the snack bags and differentiate the objects by destructive methods. At this point, you may have realized that the objects are candy, so it is safe to chew it in order to identify its other properties. The candy used is bean boozled jelly beans, which has two flavors of the same color, one flavor being tasty and the other not so tasty. Next. Move on to set three objects in the grocery bag. You will find that the contents of the bag are pink punk balls. Using observational techniques and the dimensional tools, can you differentiate one ball from the other? Now, try the surface composition analytical tools at your disposal. You may find that one or two balls stand out from the others with the help of the UV light. These balls were marked by invisible ink, which can only be revealed by UV light or when placed in a dark room. Now, how are some of the analyses that you performed in this activity analogous to analysis that might be performed on nanomaterials? The non-destructive analysis for set one objects in the opaque bag is analogous to counting particles in the air using analytical equipment such as a condensation particle counter, 
CPC. This equipment uses non-visual or non-observational techniques. Opening the bags and visualizing certain objects on the other hand is analogous to imaging samples on a scanning electron microscope. Learners are able to better determine the number of objects and whether they differ in size, shape, or color. The destructive analysis on set 1 and set 2 objects are analogous to performing a chemical analysis that consumes a sample. Learners may be able to confirm the color, texture, or flavor of the objects. This analysis is especially useful to distinguish between similar materials, such as that seen in set 2 objects. The analysis of set 3 objects is analogous to using an energy dispersive X-ray spectroscopy attached to a scanning electron microscope to differentiate objects. The X-ray spectroscopy, which in the case of this activity is the UV light, is an additional tool that was needed to differentiate the pink punk balls with invisible ink from the rest of the balls in the sample. This concludes the activity on differentiating objects using analytical approaches. Thank you. This lesson has been created by the Midwest Emerging Technologies Public Health and Safety Training Program, also known as MEDFAST, which is a collaboration between the University of Minnesota School of Public Health, the University of Iowa College of Public Health, and Dakota County Technical College. The content of this lesson is solely the responsibility of the developers and does not necessarily represent the official views of the National Institutes of Health.